Hey everyone, this is Rubix, um, Subnautica Speedrun.com moderator, and today I'm going to be going over down patching. Very recently, down patching got made a lot simpler for us, so um, I'm going to be going over that whole process right now. So here's my desktop. Um, let's go over to Steam here. Uh, you can see I have Subnautica installed, and this is the most recent patch. This is the April 2021 patch. So, the deal with down patching is that most speedrunners have two copies of Subnautica. They have the most recent patch and they have the oldest patch, or not the oldest patch, the um, September 2018 patch, which is the patch that most speedrunners use uh, for playing on old patch and getting that done. So, if I come into my files over here, you can see that. So, I have Subnautica, this is the current version. And I have Subnautica 2018. If I swap these two files, I'm going to rename this to Subnautica 2021 and rename this to Subnautica. Steam will only launch the Subnautica that is currently actually named Subnautica. So I can come here and launch the game again. And you can see this puts me on the September 2018 patch. So how do we get to that? Well, it's actually really easy. So, um, what, oh, hold on, let me, I did this backwards. <laughs> um, what you should do if you want to swap versions like this and think you'll be playing on both patches, because there are advantages and disadvantages to both patches, then what I would recommend you do is make a copy of your original Subnautica folder and then rename it to Subnautica 2021. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, am I going to do that right now? I am going to do that right now. <laughs> I'll make a copy of it. And I'll be back when this is done. Alright. Yeah, okay. This is done now. So what we can do is we can rename the copied version to Subnautica 2021. This will be your 2021 patch now. So this will be the patch that you will use to play on the most current version. So, now what you'll want to do is you'll want to have one copy of Subnautica um, already made in your folder here. And then you'll want to come to your Steam. Right click on Subnautica and come into uh, Properties. There we go. <laughs> didn't know why that didn't work. Alright. So then you'll come into Betas. And what the speedrun.com, or sorry, not speedrun.com, what the actual developers of this game have done is they have given us access to a beta branch of the game, which is the September 2018 patch. Use the beta branch password speedrunners to unlock a branch. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to come into our properties here and type in speedrunners. You can see that opts you in to the September 2018 patch. So then you can come here and in here you see speedrunners. Go ahead and click on that and your Steam will automatically start updating Subnautica. And it will be updating it to the September 2018 patch. And what it's actually doing is it's actually updating this, this version right here. So this will be your September 2018 patch. So I'm going to uh, cut away and wait for this to finish. Shouldn't really take that long. There we go. All right. So now we have successfully installed the September 2018 patch. You can see if I launch the game, there it is. We have, uh, we've opted into the beta and you can see in here uh, that everything's updated. So. Now what we need to do is you can rename this patch to September, or sorry, 2018. And now these are your two versions of Subnautica. You have your 2021 version and 2018 version. When you want to play one of these, um, rename it to Subnautica and then come into Steam and hit play. And you can see that the game will launch that version of Subnautica. And you'll be on the patch that you want to be on. One thing I forgot to mention, I'm recording this as I'm editing. Um, 
updates. So the developers will push out updates for this game. And you want to make sure that your most current patch gets updated instead of the one that um, is the down patched version. So right now, my Subnautica folder is my old patch, Subnautica 2020, or sorry, Subnautica 2018. And if an update were to get applied to Subnautica, then it would update this 2018 version to the most recent patch, which obviously isn't what we want. We want to keep that as the 2018 patch. So uh, one way you can get around this is by going into properties and looking at updates. And you'll want to click this option right here. So only update this game when I launch it. This allows you, before you actually you know, play the game, it'll show you that there's an update. And then before that update happens, you can swap your folders. So you can rename this to 2018 and then this to your normal Subnautica folder. And it will update this folder right here, the 2021 patch, to the most recent patch, which is uh, what you want. So Steam will not touch the Subnautica 2018 here. It will only touch the folder that's actually named Subnautica. It won't touch any variations of it. And this goes for launching as well. It won't launch the 2018 version. Um, it will just launch the one that's actually named Subnautica. So, um, I've gone over how to do all of that. I haven't really gone over patch differences, so we're going to do that right now. This is a document that's made by Salvener and a bunch of the community. I'll put a link in the description to this, and you can see every single patch difference that we currently know of. So things like gun clip. Things like Aurora Clip, things like this PC, the old PCF entry, um, and then stuff like Rocket Behavior, um, which is very funny. <laughs> things like a Screenshot Clip, and then um, for a lot of casual players, Prawn Behavior. In current patch, they tend to get stuck in the floor, and in 2018 patch, it works most of the time. Yeah, <laughs> that is. Um, pretty much everything that has to do with down patching in Subnautica and um, I hope that this you find this helpful if it did then uh, leave a like on this video it's greatly appreciated and happy speedrunning everyone